everybody you came back it's good to see you again I'm Francisco here in lots of pasta I am waiting on two trainees today Deborah and she's not important I guess I don't remember her name oh Karen her name's Karen we are going to hire two trainees they are very interested in learning the restaurant business and who's the best guy to come to Francisco, of course. So they want to open a restaurant. If you opened a restaurant, what kind of food would you serve? Pizza? Pizza. Excuse it. Really? That's a lot of noise. That I don't understand what you're saying. One person, raise your hand. Yes. I can hear it. What did she say? Fruits and vegetables, that's good, buena, yeah, I like that. Pasta, pizza, hot wings, chicken, burgers, Italiano, I like it. Tacos, have you had a lasagna taco? Mwah. It's so good. Ask your mom to make it. So, all this dancing, I'm gonna take a break again. Take more breaks than a Kit Kat bar. <laughs> so I'm going, are you ready to dive into the Bible story? To learn about the Israel judges? Yes. Isn't it great that God has put people so that we could know who God is? Isn't that great? And sometimes we realize how much we do need God. When God, we separate from God, we're like, we need you, save us, right? The Israelites were like, save us. I love you. Yeah? So let's dive in and learn about the judges. I heard it's a lady. Do you know who, who she is? Aurora? Oh. He said it? Deborah, let's see if you're right. The judge of Israel died, 
and the Israelites forgot about God again. So God allowed the king of Canaan to overtake them. He was cruel to the people of Israel. The Israelites remembered how good they had it when they loved and obeyed God. They cried out to God, save us. Deborah was the judge over Israel at this time. One day, Deborah sent a message to a man named Barak. Come here, Barak, she said. Barak came to Deborah and Deborah said, this is what God wants you to do. Gather an army of men, lead them to Mount Tabor. God will make the army of Canaan and their commander, Sisera, come to the river below the mountain. God will help you beat Sisera. Barak said to Deborah, I will go if you will go with me. I'll go with you, Deborah said, but you will not get honor when Sisera is defeated. God will allow a woman to defeat Sisera. So Deborah, Barak, and all the men in the army went to Mount Tabor. Sisera took his chariots and all the men who were with him toward the river to fight. Barak, go! God will help you defeat Sisera today, Deborah said. Barak and his men moved down the mountain toward Sisera and his army. The Lord made Sisera and his army very confused. Sisera ran away. Everyone in the army was killed, but Sisera escaped. Sisera went to the tent of Jael because he and Jael's husband were friends. Jael said, come in, don't be afraid. Jael gave Sisera something to drink and covered him with a rug. If a man comes looking for me, Sisera said, tell him I'm not here. Sisera was so tired that he fell into a deep sleep. While Sisera was sleeping, Jael killed him. The Lord gave his people victory over their enemies. Deborah and Barak sang a victory song. I will sing to the Lord. I will sing praises to the Lord God of Israel, Deborah sang. They praised God for helping them beat the people of Canaan, and they remembered what happened in the battle. Lord, may all of your enemies die as Sisera did and the land was peaceful for many more years. Everything God does is for His glory and our good. God used Deborah, Barak, and Jael to help the people of Israel win battles against Canaan. God also uses people to help us and teach us about Jesus. God sent His Son Jesus to do what is very good for us, to save us from sin. Ta-da! Here I am. Thank you, Francisco, for helping me out. I was pretty busy today. How are you guys? You weren't listening? Oh, you weren't here? Go to Destiny SA at YouTube, and you can see it. Oh, wait. We didn't record it last week. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. My bad. But every time a judge died, God's people turn from him to worship what? God. Idols. They weren't worshiping God. They turned to worship idols. When that happened, God let their enemies take over. The Israelites' enemies were the Canaanites. Can you guys say Canaanites? Yeah, yeah you say it better than I can. A man named Sisera was the commander of the Canaanites' army. So... He was mean to the Israelites for 20 years. He did God, he did God help, uh, how, uh, how did God help them? Yes, God wanted a man named Barak to fight the Canaanites, but Barak did not completely have faith. He was like, I need someone to come with me. So who did he ask? He asked Deborah, Deborah to go with him. And Deborah agreed, but he, she told him, if I go with you, you will not have glory. And he was okay with that. He was just like, that's fine, because I don't want to die. So you can come with me if God is going to do what God said he was going to do. So Deborah got the glory. So God was with the Israelites, and they defeated the Canaanite army. So, but Sisera got away. Where did he hide? 
Jail, yeah. Went to jail's tent. He went to jail. I'm just kidding. Sisera probably thought he would be safe there, but while he was sleeping, jail killed him. What? The Israelites were at peace once again. So God fought for the Israelites and used Deborah, Barak, and Jael to defeat Canaan. So how does God accomplish his plan? Say it again. God uses people for his glory and our good. Great job, Ruthie. Yes, Zane. Sweet. So let's say the answer all together. God uses people for his glory and our good. That's so good. So God's plan was even greater than just saving his people from physical enemies. He saved us from sin. So God had a plan to bring the ultimate good salvation through his son. Through his son. Jesus, that is right. So God chose people to be judges over Israel. So we know that ultimately God is our judge, right? God is our judge. With that being said, our memory verse. For the Lord is our judge. The Lord is our lawgiver. The Lord is our king. He will save us. Isaiah 33, 22. You guys going to say it with me together? One, two, two, one, two, three. The Lord is our judge. The Lord is our lawgiver. The Lord is our king. He will. Isaiah 33, 22. Twyla, you were yawning. Am I boring you? I like your hat. It's a party. Can I have it? Oh, okay. That was a chance. All right. So with God sending his son, we die because of the power of the blood, right? So with that being said, we're going to close out with another worship song, Power in the Blood. So if you want to stand up, sit up, get up, and sing with us, Power in the Blood.
Good job, everybody. A lot of energy. Power in the blood. There's power in the microphone because of the Holy Spirit. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for being here in Chapo. Named Cicero was the commander of the Canaanites' army. So he was me.